Condor in the quarterfinal. 10-0 technical superiority victory. And Melendrez beat Valencia Escoto of Mexico 7-5. I had that uh, Escoto match on Matt B. Valverde Melendres continues to fight the entire time. Glaze, though, a former world medalist, 2014 bronze for Canada. And this, of course, to qualify their country for the Olympics. And a go behind takedown. Galay opens the scoring 2 0. 40 seconds into the bout. Talk about that victory over Valencia Escoto for Melendrez. Uh, Escoto ranked number 19 in the world by United World Wrestling. And Galay's win over Whitney Connor. Whitney Connor ranked number 13 by United World Wrestling. Counter here, looking for, a, a, trying to pull her down in her cradle. Galay takes her over to her back. Four is what's going to be confirmed. Lendra's able to fight out of danger. Galay still trying to work a turn. She might have a lace locked up, but they're going to bring her back up. Last week at 53 kilos. Valverde Melendrez makes the final, defeated by another Canadian, Jasmine Mion, who's gonna represent Canada at 48 kilos in the Olympic Games down in Rio. Already qualified via Genevieve Morrison's uh, bronze medal at the World Championships. So she wrestled up a weight class last week at the Pan Am Championships. Canada doesn't have anybody in the field here at 48 as when you are qualified, you, you can't hold out other competitors from qualifying the weight class. Canada's very deep at 48. As you were saying, Morrison was the one that qualified it. Galay here with an 8-0 lead. If she's able to get a turn, she will finish it off with a technical superiority, and it looks like she's there gonna it get it with the high gut. Gut wrench, and Canada, one of your powers in the the women's side of, of the freestyle division. They're flexing their muscle today as Erica Wiebe almost looks to have a, 